Hello and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. I'll be your host, Zykreon, as we start this amazing adventure together, following young Alex as he joins his destiny in becoming the next Dragon Master. And now, we begin. I don't remember when it started exactly, but the dream of having a fantastic adventure in far-off places grabbed my heart early and is yet to let go. You see, my hero is Dragon Master Dine. Outside my village, there's a monument made in his honor. His adventures were the most fantastic of all. Fighting evil, risking death, protecting the goddess Althena. It's all so, so exciting. One day, I want to have adventures like that. <sighs> but excitement of that kind is a long way from Berg. Oh, hello, no. Alex, couldn't you hear me? I've been flying all over for the last half hour calling for you. But I should have known you'd be here. Oh, no. Where else would I be? In honor of the great Dragon Master, Dai. I know that Dine was probably the greatest of the four heroes, Alex, but I'm amazed that you never get tired of coming to stare at his dull monument. Oh shoot, I just remembered. We better go meet Luna to practice singing. If we're late, she'll be upset. Alright. Well, looks like we're ready to begin uh, our little adventure. Go off to Luna. Oh, why? What the hell? Hmm. Well, who's this guy? Hey, Alex! I figured you might be here. Now that the warm weather has melted the ice near the dragon's cave, there isn't any time to waste getting started on our big adventure. If we hurry, we may be able to sneak in without waking the dragon. Then we can get a fantastically huge diamond from its lair worth thousands and thousands of silver, making us filthy, stinking rich, and very popular in the process! Alright, so as you guys noticed, I am not going to be talking during cutscenes. To me, during a Let's Play, that's one of the most annoying things that someone who's commenting on it uh, can do. So, I'm going to make sure that you guys get the full effect of the game. I'm also not going to read uh, what they're saying, unless, of course, I find it amusing and want to, I don't know, do something funny with it. But other than that, let's, uh, let's go uh, find Luna. All right, guys. So this is Berg, and we are Alex, and that's our little buddy Noel. Oh yeah. I don't hear singing. Granted, maybe it's because I'm partially deaf, but I don't know. And uh, throughout the games, you, we are going to see these statues. These are the statues of our goddess Althena, and they will heal us. So not too shabby for healing. I likey. I likey. All right. Well, here's Luna. All right.
again, silly. Were you whittling away the morning at Dine's Monument again? Or were you planning more make-believe adventures with Ramus? Ah, uh, I love the cutscenes. This game's great. It gives you an RPG, it gives you a movie, and it just puts it all together. And for its time, I mean, the cartoons, it's great. I love the graphics, I love the movies, I love the gameplay. There's nothing I don't love about this freaking game. This is just one of those games from my past that I've played over and over again. Oh! Oh. That was loud. A roar! Maybe, uh, maybe Null farted. That's what I think it is. That's what it is. And I will apologize, you know, the first video, it's gonna be slow, you know, we're setting up, uh, setting up the story and such, but... Of course, Alex is wanting to go on an adventure, and Luna's... Luna's not gonna let him go alone, cause she's... She's, you know, a female, and stereotypes are... That she's, you know, weak, so they don't want her to go with her. But I want her because she's the goddamn healer. A and I like being healed. <laughs> then again, in almost every MMO I play, I'm always the friggin' healer or tank, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm a healer because that's my soft side. A tank because I'm a big old, Big old bull. I don't know. Alright, though. Like Luna said, let's go, let's go back to the house. Let's go see if our parents are going to go whoop our asses, because we want to go on an adventure. Uh, there's really not much going on in this town. You know, there's the two shops, the item and the weapons store, but I, I don't have any cash right now, so no sense of going there. Hey, Dad, what's up, brother? Right. little dagger action, sling for Luna. And the flame ring, flame on! Alright, sweet! Stuff in the basement. Is it candy? Is it kids? Dragonfly wing! Herb! Starlight! Angel's deer. Alright. Dragon wing. It's like you escape. Uh, herb heals you. Your health. Uh, starlight does your magic. And Angel's tear is a resurrection. So, that's all that is. All right, well, we got that. There's nothing else to do in the town. Let's talk to, uh, Ramus. All right. Yeah, we're all set. Yeah, she's gonna come with us, you know. Figured I want some booty while I'm on the road. Bring a weapon? Oh, I got a weapon. Yeah. And I need to equip the damn thing. All right, well, just like any standard RPG, you have to equip stuff. Uh, the annoying thing is, is you can only equip things that are in your inventory. So I have to give Luna the sling. So, it's alright though. No big deal. No big deal. And then I have to go to Luna and I have to equip it. Or I'm not going to show equipment. Or the equipment. I don't even think that's a friggin' word. I'm not going to show equipping every time. Just to uh, make it easier on you guys. So that you're not bored to death watching me. Uh, I'm also not going to show grinding for you guys. I'll be doing that off screen, of course. And the cool thing, and one of the reasons I picked this game is the f monsters. It's not random battles. Oh, well, we can't get in if there's a big all ice. Well, let's turn around, go back, go back home. Or you could do that, Alex, you bastard. Damn. All right, so like I was saying, one of the reasons I picked this game is you can see the monsters, which means you can skip them if you want. But... I'm uh, only going to show new monsters to you guys and boss fights. You know, it's your standard RPG. Uh, this one has an AI. I don't really use the AI. I use it while I'm grinding sometimes, because, well, I'm, I'm lazy. And usually when I grind, there's an Althena statue near me. But, I mean, it's, there's nothing really crazy about the fighting. It's, it's your standard. You can have five in a party. Null's your cheerleader. Occasionally, I don't think Null does any damage, but I think, I know Null will resurrect you if you die in battle every once in a while. So, that's the one good thing. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty standard. There's attack, your magic, Luna sings and she heals you. I guess, I guess her, 
Her singing is magical. Hmm. I wonder, plot device maybe? Um. I don't know, but there we go. We won. And, uh, ooh, Ramus gained a level. Alright, so his uh, max HP increased by four. And, that, that, is that it? That's all that increased was his HP? Well, uh, uh, alright. <laughs> alright, well, we are at the White Dragon Cave, guys. And uh, I'm going to grind a couple of levels out. And then we will continue our adventure. So, thanks for joining me, guys, on Let's Play Lunar. Uh, this is Zycreon saying adieu, and thanks for watching.